Hey, what's up guys? It's Kawaii Creep. I'm back. Today I am at it with a movie review, a Japanese movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Romance Doll. I took a break, guys. I was gone. I was so sick and also having a mental breakdown. So here I am. Everything's better now. <laughs> at least that's what I'm telling myself. I'm just going to carry on with life. Uh, Romance Doll is available on Netflix. That is what I watched this week. And here's my review. So Tetsuo is a young artist who takes up a job at a a romance doll or a love doll factory. Uh, as a sculptor, he wants to create the perfect love doll. In an attempt to do so, he and his co-worker decide to lure in a young woman who is a, an art model and tell her that they are making uh, prosthetics for people who have had mas mastectomies, believing that they wouldn't be able to get anyone to come do the job otherwise. So they lure her in and they use the molding uh, materials on her upper body area to try to make a more realistic figure. And the art model who answers the ad actually ends up hitting it off with Tetsuo and over some time they end up getting married. However, he holds the secret about his career and what he was really doing for far too long and when it finally comes Time for him to come clean. It turns out his wife has a secret of her own. So this drama is starring Takahashi Ise and Aoi Yu, who she just had a starring role in the Ruroni Kenshin films, and this was released 24th of January 2020. So for me, I thought the movie started out with an interesting premise. You know, there's it's the characters are a bit promising. There's there's some interest there. Tetsuo is working uh, with this more seasoned employee, and that employee also has an interesting backstory. And the tension that builds uh, between the couple as their relationship progresses keeps it really interesting. Um, the viewer knows that Tetsuo is holding the secret uh, without his wife knowing, and um, you know, it, it's also interesting to see inside that factory. I don't know how accurate it is um, or how realistic it is if that's how they're really made, but it, it seemed like it was. So it showed, you know, they made a frame with wire and then they had a mold where they would pour um, the silicone or whatever to um, make the realistic form of a woman. Uh, however, um, despite a promising setup, I felt like the film failed to deliver and the whole film is guilty of what I would call telling and not showing. So for example, uh, Sonoko, that's the wife, we're told that Sonoko and Tetsuo are so in love and, and they love each other, but we don't really see what that is based off of. It, it just, you know, they just have chemistry or whatever. Um, and in fact, we learned very little about the leading couple at all, and I thought that their characters were rather hollow. We don't get any backstory. Sonoko herself, uh, we don't have a backstory, we don't have a last name, we don't have a job title, we don't know anything about her. So that bothered me. She isn't given a, a profession or a, any kind of character. Um, she's just the quiet Japanese homemaker. From the point where they reveal their secrets to each other, it's about halfway through the film. Um, while it is interesting that they it does somehow you know fix their relationship and there's some forgiveness there which is good uh the film takes a turn for the rather boring if you ask me and it focuses on tetsuo as a tortured artist who is aiming for perfection and using his wife's suffering as his muse. With a very predictable ending, I was left feeling rather empty after watching this film. Uh, I thought it could have used more edge and mystery and uh, some more fleshed out characters. The entire film is very understated and slow and it did not leave me feeling inspired or thoughtful at all. At the end of it all, I felt uh, love dolls were the perfect subject matter for such a lifeless and unrealistic story. Now that being said, uh, the acting was quite good. Uh, they, The leading couple had really good chemistry together. I, I liked that and they both gave very emotional performances. The film was also beautifully shot. There are some uh, moments of stunning cinematography and while I would say that the love scenes between the couple are a bit bland, but uh, they are still somewhat sensual and well shot. And again, the, the setup was interesting and it, it had me invested in the story. It built some tension. 
and that was a positive note on this film. Uh, however, the way things played out just really left a lot for me to be desired. Um, characters weren't well fleshed out, assertions were made in the film that weren't demonstrated to us in, a, in an effective way, and the ending also left some strange ideas about relationships, sexuality, and especially about women in general. So for the style icon for this movie, the wardrobes were rather muted, which suited the uh, atmosphere of the film, and Tetsuo was wearing a boiler suit for most of the film, uh, so it's hard for me to award anyone a style icon, but I am a fan of Aoi Yu, and she looked beautiful in some of her chic outfits, and we'll give her an honorable mention. The film overall, it was unrealistic on so many levels. So going from this strange notion of hiring this stunning model under false pretenses to an artist's journey to create the perfect love doll, um, while well, it had some interesting ideas, uh, for me, the film just failed to deliver and it left me confused about what the point was or what the director wanted to say. Was it a film about overcoming marriage issues? Was it about, uh, was it a statement on Japan's adult product industry? Or a, what was it? I still don't know. Personally, I'll rate it a 4 out of 10. I would only recommend it to you if you like something slow paced and mushy, easy to follow, but otherwise I would say you're better flicking past this one. So guys, that was it. That is my review of Romance Doll. Tell me what you think. Have you guys seen it? What did you think? Did you like it? Do you completely disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. If you are into dramas, I have created the Drama Club. It is a Discord channel where you can discuss Japanese dramas. I'll leave the link down below. You guys are all invited. And if you want to follow along in my Drama Club, I've created a calendar for the rest of the year outlining what dramas I'm going to be watching and when, and we can watch them together and discuss. So go ahead and click the link and follow me on all my socials, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!